Hey everyone, today we're diving into a delicious DIY snack that's perfect for any occasion, freeze-dried cheesecake bites. You can grab these in a single package of 63 bites from Sam's Club. Check out the link in the description below. We're working with three delicious flavors, classic, strawberry swirl, and caramel chocolate chip. Each has a unique twist. These cheesecake bites are ideally sized for two or three bites, but after freeze drying, they tend to crumble pretty easily. I recommend cutting them into quarters for kids or halves if you're aiming to optimize your time and tray space. If you don't cut them, then they should easily fit on one medium sized harvest right tray. After cutting them, they fit on two full trays. Ensure that the cheesecake bites are completely frozen before you begin. If they're too soft, they might mush up when you try to cut them. I laid them out on the tray giving each piece some room to prevent them from sticking together. I ran the freeze drying process for 12 hours. It finished right as I was heading to bed, so they got about 8 hours of extra dry time, though that's probably not necessary. All of the cheesecake bites fit nicely into one half gallon and one pint sized mason jar. We skipped the mylar bag since these treats don't really last very long in our house, they're just too good. There's no need for mats or parchment paper, they came right off the tray without any hassle. For quick and easy packing, I recommend using a french fry bagger. It's a great tool for transferring the cheesecake bites into jars or bags and you can find the link for this tool in the description as well. That's it for today's guide on making freeze dried cheesecake bites. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome DIY freeze dried snacks. Thanks for watching.